Hey guys, how you doing? So, I finished the uh, Omnivore Blade Works, the ferret. Great looking little Tanto, as you can see, I ended up doing the satin finish, I polished it. I didn't go all the way crazy with the polishing because I will most likely end up doing patina on it, first patina. So this is actually still the base of the of the Seracote. I think he co I think it, if I remember correctly, it's a zinc base. So it will provide a little more protection, rust protection, and we have that little we have that satin finish going through it. Edge is really nice and shiny. I really like how it came out here on top. Let me see if I can focus it for you. It looks like it was hand forged. You see the design here on top, like a hand forged design. I also purposely didn't grind it down more because I think it's super cool. Left the left the spine coated. I don't know. I still didn't decide if I'm gonna clean it off or no. And everything else is nice and polished. Black canvas micarta handle it was pre-cut by Jared for me. Nice pommel on the back. Nice he uses big half inch. Uh, what is it called? Pins. Hollow tubes great it fits grain in the hand and it's gorgeous looking knife i think it's really job well done on the design wise it's very pretty looking knife i don't know why it still reminds me dog or a, or a car i don't know why that shape reminds me dog and car but it could pass for a ferret i guess that's why the name but it's it fits great in the hand Nice. I'm not a fan of Tanta, but uh, it's a nice knife, very pretty knife. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And I really appreciate the opportunity, Jared. Go check him out, guys. Uh, for a custom knife like this, it's not that expensive. Yes, I said it's they are pricey. They are pricey, you know, if you compare them to the regular knives, they are pricey. But believe me, <laughs> compared to the other custom knife makers, he's doing great job also. And he's cheap compared to the other custom knife maker. Knife like this, 150 bucks, that's not that bad, man. That's not bad at all. And he's doing much better work than I do. He's pro, you know. He could name so many, so many uh, defects I did, you know, so many mistakes I did. He's really good at what he's doing, trust, trust me. And he has many, a lot of other knives. Just to show you, I think there is no surprise there that I took my time sharpening it. Really nice edge, 1095 high carbon steel, let me give you some spec guys, specs. I'm not doing the sheet for this because this will be most like in my collection, four and a half inch blade, 10 inch overall, you know, nice handle, let's go with the weight, since we're doing a little kind of review. Like I was saying, it, it most likely won't be my user knife, it will be most likely just a collection piece because I cannot carry this. 7.885, not that heavy, for a quarter inch thick stack, it's not such a bad weight. Feels great in the hand. If you can carry a little bigger knife, this would be a great tactical blade. Because you have that, you have that angle, forward angle, really, really good... Uh, you know, for the Tanta style, for the chop, for the, I don't know what is it called, that uh, hit when you don't stick, but when you just chop with this portion. Uh, really nice blade, gorgeous looking knife. So, highly recommend going, go checking them out if you like the knife. And uh, I think it's pretty. I'm very happy to get the, have this. So, go check out Jared and his blades. There's yes, some badass knives, guys. In tomahawks. If you, if any of you are into tomahawks, he has some amazing tomahawks. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hope you like it. I sure do. Stay safe out there, and remember, don't cut yourself.